All right. So we have amino acids before us, and we are going to look at um, transcription of this amino acid based on what nutritional requirements. We are talking about nutritional requirements. Those are the essential amino acids, non-essential amino acids, then conditionally essential amino acids. Then we also have another classification of amino acids, which is based on what uh, metabolic fates. We have the ketogenic, glucogenic, and we have the ketogenic and glucogenic and all of that. So this is not something for me to waste time on because amino acid is one of the first lectures you always do in biochemistry in the medical school. And I believe that it's something that almost every student must have done their mnemonics, mnemonics to remember essential amino acid and all of that. So let's have it. Uh, the full question was you have to classify this amino acid and give at least one example. So if you see in the body of me answering this, I always give just one example. But here now I have the full stops, okay? So you can see essential, okay? This one is much more comprehensive for me. See essential, you see condition, conditional essential, you see non-essential, in case you want to now look at them all again. Okay, so let's have it. Uh, we say that classification of amino acid, we are starting with the nutritional requirements. We start with essential amino acid, we said that these are, these are amino acids that cannot be synthesized by the body. So they are essential. You need to eat them. Okay? So they may actually, they must actually what, be obtained from diet. Okay? Example is leucine, which is an essential amino acid, which is important for protein synthesis and muscle repair. So looking at the essential, you can see the leucine that we picked out. So these ones are the other examples. Take your time to look at it by pausing the video. The non-essential amino acid, we said that these ones are non-essential. That means what? The body can make them even if you don't eat them. Okay? So these amino acids can be synthesized by the body, so they do not need to be obtained from diet. Example is alanine. It's a non-essential amino acid which involve, which is involved in what? glucose metabolism and energy production. So this is what? The non-essential ones. You see alanine, asparagine, aspartate, glutamate, serine, non-essential. Then look at the conditional essential amino acid. We said that these are amino acids that are generally non-essential, but they become essential under some certain conditions such as your illness or stress, okay? Example is glutamine, okay? So if you have them here, arginine, cysteine, glycine, glutamine, proline, tyrosine, okay? So now let's look at the classification based on metabolic fate now. So we have glucogenic amino acids, so that these amino acids are converted to glucose through gluconeogenesis, okay? So example is what? Glycine, glucogenic, all right? So many examples, we just picked only glycine. So if you want to see all of them, write them down, develop a mnemonic to remember them, okay? Then we have ketogenic amino acids, so that these amino acids can be converted into ketone bodies, which can be used as an alternative energy source, okay? Example is leucine, ketogenic. It's just leucine and lysine we have on that there, okay? Then we have amino acids that are both glucogenic or ketogenic. These ones that can be converted to both glucose and ketone bodies, okay? So you see them. Examples of tyrosine, isoleucine, Phenylalanine, tryptophan. Okay, so I told you guys it's not something I always waste time on because amino acid is always believed that people have read it so many times. Okay, so that's it.